All right, here I'm going to put the roof anchor so we could properly tie off to this roof uh, and follow OSHA regulations. Now, I'm using what's called a 16 penny nail. It's about a three and a half inch nail. Now, you could use a duplex nail, it's a lot easier to remove. In this case, this is what we're using. It's still good enough, it's got strong head to secure this. So, I already started this here. We already found the rafter. Uh, you know, one way that I did it is the, the plywood has a little bit of give. I was able to find where the center was. So, once you found it, want to make sure you secure it on both ends because this is what is going to be keeping you on the roof in case of an emergency if you do slide off it's got to hold your weight now you want to stay away from also putting the nails directly one above each other and the reason for that is you could just split the rafters not going to hold anything so in this case you know you could just go off to the side angle a little bit in to make sure you hit the rafter so you want to make sure that you're putting enough nails here to secure this anchor properly all right here, I'm holding a harness. This harness is what roofers use and what we're gonna use for this repair to properly tie off. Uh, you can see in the back here, it's got a, a point. This is where you can tie off your lanyard. But I'm gonna show you how to put these on. Some of these you could actually step into and this one's a little bit different. All you do is you throw it over your shoulders, the right side, then you're gonna go ahead and wanna strap your legs in. So there's a strap for each leg and you'll see it's just like a belt. So you're gonna go ahead, use a buckle, And then just to get it tighter, all you have to do is just keep pulling and keep getting tighter to whatever you need. The thing to remember too is you don't ever want to have it loose. Uh, you want it snug on there, but not too tight. Uh, and the reason for that, if you fall, you don't want it tightening up as you're falling. You want it to be partially snug. And on this harness here, last piece is just getting this here. So you just, you see how I put that through there? I slid that in, so this piece slid in through here, so it's locked, they won't go anywhere. And then you tighten, tighten that up as needed, you know, to your size. Now these do need to be just in the back, which I'll do right now here shortly. Just that way, like again, you want to be snug. And the reason for this harness here, what it's doing is distributing the weight. If I were to fall, it's not going to put all the pressure on one point. You know, now I did adjust these straps, just that way they weren't too loose on there, so when I'm standing, you know, it's not you know, limiting where I could move. I want to be able to move freely, but at the same time, I want it to be snug on my body so it protects me. All right, here I have the rope that I'm going to go ahead and hook up to our anchor point. So these here, they actually have a safety mechanism. Uh, if you notice some carabiners, you could just go ahead and push this open to uh, release that. In this case, you actually have to push it down to unlock it, and that's for safety. You know, you don't want that unhooking when you're in the roof. So now that we have it open, I'm going to hook it onto our anchor, and that's not going nowhere. You know, you can't accidentally kick this open and fall out as you're working on the roof. All right, what I'm holding here is actually the lanyard that gets hooked up on the back of this harness. Now, this one here, as you can see, might look a little weird, you know, but these two points over you're hooking up. The reason why it has this here is this here is sewed together. And in the case of a fall, this is a, the weight is actually going to take the stitching out, and that's going to give you a little bit. Uh, reduce the speed a little bit when you fall just so it's not a hard jarring uh, stop when you hit that how you insert that on here is it does have a marking on there and it'll say up so what you're gonna want to do is you know the rope is going up so you're gonna want to go ahead and, and this is how you lock it to just you know there's actually teeth in here so just to make it easier I open it up get my rope through there now that I have it on there I could slide it wherever you need and when this is hooked on my back if I were to fall you know, this is gonna snag on there, it's gonna keep you on the roof. But when you wanna work and change the length, you just lift up this lever here to get the teeth off that rope. It's gonna release it and allow you to freely move that rope wherever you need it. Or in the back here, you could see, and the harness actually has a spot for you to hook on. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that uh, rope so that way I'm properly tied off. Now that Adam has demonstrated how to properly attach the anchor point, how to wear a safety harness and how to properly use the lanyard and rope. Let's take a look at some of the installers at work.